Hey again, what I want to do in this video, I want to, when a person click here, he would see the contact list that available in his phone, like the contact list that's saved in his phone, which is, for example, what we have now is these two person. He see them, he could pick anyone. When he pick them, two, they will show up in this list, in the, in the app list. So this is what I want to do. So first of all, I'm in my app and I want to access to another app, which is the contact app. So I need a permission. So first of all, go to the main face and say, hey, I need to use permission. The permission that I want to use it is related for read contact. So make sure to add a read contact because I'm reading the contact. Okay, read contact is categorized as dangerous permission. So we have to do request for this permission inside the code. So how to do that? Okay, let me go to the tracker. What I want to do in the tracker, in the place where he click on this button plus, which is add, which is this one, I want to check the permission. So there have to be a function here, name it, check uh, permission. Okay, this check permission will be get called when someone, uh, when someone click on this button. Okay. I'm checking the permission. So there is two cases for this permission. Either the device be after 23, so I say, hey, if the bolt, make sure bolt write in this way, and you see this one, click enter, don't complete write it, so I will be able to import the library. So that version, make capture capital the hop up version should be in this way, this one, dot SDK in it greater than or equal 23 that's mean i have to go specific to process otherwise i could directly call method for pick contact for now i don't have this one implemented so let me just define this function for pick contact which to do pick from phone or pick contact from phone i will do it in a second but just add this one to help me to track the code so if the device is greater than 23, I have to check if the device have this permission or not. I say, hey, if, okay, if the activity compact, activity, in this one, activity compact, dot, uh, check self permission, if this one for this, android, dot, main face, dot, uh, permission, dot, read contact okay someone he want to read the contact so if this one is, uh, is not equal to package manager dot granted permission granted is not granted i want you to come here so what he, what i want you to do if it's not granted okay i want you to request permission say hey request Request permission. The request permission take two parameters. The first one is array of the permissions. I have only this permission I want to send it. Okay, I need this permission. If you have more than just pass them, I have one only. And the second one, the code. So I would say contact, contact And the second parameter should be Android dot main face dot media dot main face dot uh, permissions dot uh, read contact. So I'm just reading the contact. If this one is not equal to package manager dot permission granted, so that means hey, we have a problem. We need to fix it. We need to request the permission. Say so, hey, I want you to request permission. Array of the permission that I want to request them. For me, I don't. I have only this one. So huh, send it. Well, the second parameter is the the code that I have it. So I would say, uh, okay, give it this ID contact code. Everything in capital. You know why? Because this is how we work with this thing. And this one should be val read only 
contact code you could give it anything you could give it like one two three or whatever mm, should be val in the small okay uh, this is a code so requested and when he that's mean there's a problem here so make sure return don't show it don't continue so when he see the permission he have to be here so he have to on request permission on request per pom 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 on request permission result something happened in the result of the request permission so wait for that result what i have to do i'm checking about request code so i say when the request code will be same as the code that i have it which is this code that's mean it is coming from this function I'm sure they have only one this function, but I do this to be the code to be editable. So when you have another function, you know how to work with it. So uh, hey, here you check. You say hey, if I have array of permissions, but I have permission result only one in that array. I say hey, if the permission result for zero equal to package manager to the granted equal equal package manager dot permission granted. Of not this way it should be I think the package manager should be capital package manager dot permission granted that's mean he grant me that permission if he grant me I'm fine I just call this method if he not I just saw him any message like say hey uh, to us dot make takes you give this and give it you cannot access contact okay then the third bar parameter you give it to us dot the long one dot show okay this is what we will do so finally if it else we say hey else I want you to do this this is the else case I don't think we need this one but mm, add it doesn't make anything so yes this is all we do package manager and now I think okay I have this request code for that one so they both should be here and this one should be the else case for that case okay so it should be clear the code so now I think uh, I'm okay so I just pick the contact so how to do a pick the con how to pick contact from the phone so to pick contact from the phone you have to do intent I define my intent I say hey my intent I want you to do intent but this intent is call over to another app so I say hey my intent uh, dot intent dot uh, action pick because I'm doing pick from other app and the app that I want to go to it it is name it contact uh, contact contacts contract this one dot uh, contact dot content URI so I, you, are, you are saying to the intent hey I want to do intent but not in my inside my app I want to do intent to another app which is contact app so uh, then I say hey I want to start activity but I will not do start activity only because I'm waiting for some result coming in when he select the phone number I want to do some process with that phone number so I will call a method name it start activity for result not just start activity and I said the intent to it okay and I said pick our code again you say tab pick code as I told you, this is also you use it just to recognize one process from the other. So you say val pick code, whatever you want to do, val for it. So in this way, we're saying, hey, hey intent, I want you to open another app. So now the intent will go and open another app for me, which is the contact app. And I'm waiting for the result. If someone click on the anything of the contact app, any value, select any phone, I want to process that phone phone number. So what I have to do? So I have to call method name it on activity results. So waiting for result from the activity. So on I get a result from the activity. What I have to do? First of all, I'm checking about the request code. I say, hey, when the request code 
equal to my code if it's coming from this one. If it's coming from this one, that's mean, hey, I know this call. It is from me. Else, it's not from, from me, something else. So just go to uh, call this one because I didn't do this one. Something wrong happened. So just do this. So if I call it, that's mean if I collect the contact, the contact number should come up with the call. So, but there's two cases when he, I pick a contact. Maybe I went to the other app and I select contact number. Or maybe I went to the other app and I click cancel. I didn't select that, any contact. So make sure I say, hey, if he, if the result code, which is result code, not request code, result code, dot call or call activity dot result OK. That means he click OK. That means, hey, come here. Because if he, if he click cancel, I don't want to process it. If he see phone numbers and he didn't want to select any phone number, click cancel, I don't want to do any process. I want to do process only if he pick a phone, a phone number. So what I have to do if he pick a phone number? Okay, little bit of process like straightforward, but you just have to follow it. First of all, you have to define your contact data, which should be equal to the data dot the data you're just getting the data that saved here whatever the data that's coming from that result because this one is optional maybe so you have to do this one so now i have the contact data so okay now what you have to do is say val what you said c or c will be equal to get uh, content get content resolver and this content resolver will run a query Oh, all right. It's that content resolver dot query. You run a query on the content resolver, and you give it the contact data that you. Can you say dot query? And then the query take the query. The query take the content resolver or content data that I have it. So I will, could bring the right one for me. Now. No, no, no. So what does that mean? I will tell you the story of this one. When you pick a phone number, you have it as a data. So now I want to bring this, this data from the uh, the other app. The other app shared content on the, on the content provider. So to get that data from the content provider, I have to send that data. I say, hey, I want to that. I want to get that data from content provider. This one will be able to bring that data for me. And bam, bam, I'm set. So now I have the C as a data. So I say, hey, if C dot move to first, because it's move to next, move to first, because I have only one element, because it's just a list. Uh, maybe, maybe this one return for me more than one, but I'm sure it return one only. But move it to the first element in that list. Then, okay, bring the ID for. For example, I want to get the ID. I say C dot get ID should be equal to C dot get get sittering and the sittering should be get it from what from say dot get column indexer or through maybe this one better this uh, column indexer or through then I say hey contact which is this one dot not contact say contact Is this contact contacts? Is, is that right? Contacts contacts. Oh, contacts to contact dot contact dot id underscore. I think id. This is the id. The id of the person will be saved here. So now I'm getting the id. I could get all that other information of raw in the same way like the phone number you want to check if it has phone number or not okay let me just copy this line and show you how so just you say uh, has phone if he has phone number or not maybe if some user doesn't has phone number you say here you're looking for a specific one which is has phone number so this one will return for you if the person has phone number or not so this is the way so Harry checking has phone number. If he has phone number, so I say, hey, if the has phone number dot equal 
two one that means he has phone number come here so you know that this is if that means so they should be between colon so if the person has a phone number I want you to do specific process I want you first of all bring the phone number for me so how I could bring the phone number okay I say well the phone but the phone he maybe have more than one phones do you know maybe have more than one phone okay I get phones I say content resolver dot uh, query this query get never different thing first thing he will get content content contact 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 dot command that against whatever the on phone I need to get to bring the phone dot content URA and the second parameter should be null the third parameter should be content same thing same long this one phone dot content ID this is how this this one will get the data from it then plus equal plus ID so he bring the ID for that person for you then you give it null and null okay this one phones should return for me list of the phones that registered for the user maybe three or four or five I will take only one so I say hey phones dot move to first then I take first phone number I say hey well phone number should be equal to the uh, phones then dot get sittering just getting sittering value what what's the sittering one I just want to get phone number I say c dot get the column index whatever then I say give it the column index uh, for data one like me the first one should be saving the data one I define also the name of the person so it should be same thing you could get it in the same way say hey fonts dot get sittering but here in the, this one you don't need to do c dot get whatever contact you say c dot get uh, column index and you give it contact tax contact dot contact whatever these dot contact dot display name because the display name is one while the phone number may be more so I have phone number and contact I'm, I think I should be all set do you remember the function that you have before for the dummy function I would just stop with this function I will no longer use it I just stop with these lines so I will take any of these and if I go back here instead of adding it from that way I say hey from here please add the name of the person in the list when he select and also add the phone number of the user so it should reverse this one should be C and this one should be phones yeah so run it again and see what is going on here we go after a while I see this now if I click here click add you have to ask for permission yes access to let me add Leia you have I have to see Leia here here we go and this is her phone number if I just add more Jenna you'll have to show me Jenna here and his phone number so yeah here we done thank you for watching and see